Today I'm going to show you how to use TierMaker in your classroom. I did an article about TierMaker a while ago over at educate.me and so today I thought I'd show you what it, how you can use it in your classroom. Now TierMaker is a way to rank items or teams or whatever you want in a nice way. I could see this being used in a classroom. You can have the students discuss, okay, why would this be so much higher than this other item? So we're gonna show it with the ultimate fast food burger tier list. So this is somebody else has already done it and I drugged five guys up there. Let's pull those back down. So when you're looking at the chart, you have your list of items at the bottom and then you have, you can rank them. So five guys is pretty high. Five guys is pretty good. I would put McDonald's as an A. So you can go through and look at some of these. Haven't tried Whataburger. a and w that's pretty good too. So you can see that as you're working with this, you can have this on anything you are studying. You just need the graphics. And we're gonna go through how to create that. It also has a presentation mode. So if you put this up on your screen, it takes all that other stuff out of the way and makes it look pretty good. So we can go, go through here and I don't think I've had a burger at Sonic. Wendy's is okay. Ugh. I'm not a fan of White Castle. If you are, sorry about that, but yeah, I'm not a fan. And as you can tell, I eat out a lot. So this is what it looks like. Let's go through and create our own. We are going to create a tier list right now. And you do need to have an account and all it requires is your Twitter account to create an account on TierMaker. So the barrier to entry is pretty low. If you don't have a Twitter account, you can go make one. Make a template. And mine's going to be best burger in town. And it's going to find other templates that are already created because it doesn't want you to make one if you've already got one. Rank. We select a category and there's a ton of them here. We're gonna do fast food. And here's the most important piece. You need to have pictures so we can drag and drop those to rank them. I've already downloaded all the fast food places in my town. So I'm just gonna click and drag over them, select them all at once. I got these from images.google.com. Now we're gonna rank these as if they were grades. Then I hit submit. Now I have my own tier list maker. We can go into presentation mode. And so Taco Bell gets an F because they don't have any burgers. Arby gets an F because they don't have any burgers. Burger King, Burger King's not quite a material. And McDonald's isn't quite a material either, but I'm gonna say Wendy's is the best. And once you've done ranking, you can download that as an image. And now I've got that nice image downloaded that I could put up other places. And once you're down, done with it, I can't do anything with it now because I'm back to this. I can still, I can delete this list and I can also share it on Twitter. If I click back on the <laughs> menu food cr menu crumbs is what that's called. I can go back and change it if I want. It saves it on the tier maker so other people can use it. Aha. <laughs> so unless you really want to save this forever and ever, don't use that save button. And that's hopefully enough to get you started with tier maker. It's kind of cool, especially if you want to rank things and have those debates in your classroom. Be sure to like this video and also visit me over at educate.me. See.